In this ICT Basics video, I want to go over the smart money technique or indicator, or sorry, not indicator, but uh, instrument divergence. I'm specifically going to focus on between the MES and the MNQ, although you could find divergences with other instruments as well. Uh, you need to find instruments, whether it's futures or forex, that are uh, p positively correlated. So, for example, the micro ES and the micro, NAS the micro NASDAQ are very positively correlated, right? They're both comprising of U.S. stocks, so they're mostly uh, in tandem. Okay, guys, so what you want to do is I'm going to show you an hourly example, and I'm not going to keep this video too long, so, um, you know, just, just bear that in mind. What you want to do is you want to look at points in the market where the micro ES or the micro NASDAQ has made a new high or a new low and the other has not. So for example, um, here on the hourly chart, we can see on the left hand side of the chart, at this point in time, the micro ES had made a lower low, whereas the micro NASDAQ had made a higher high. I usually guys because the NASDAQ is only comprised of 100 stocks and tech stocks tend to be more uh, illiquid than you know obviously a basket of 500 stocks um, it's usually going to be the NASDAQ is going to kind of create the divergence um, it's usually going to lead the way in either direction so as you can see here on the left um, at this point in time the micro ES had made a lower low whereas the micro NASDAQ had made a higher high which how would you use that information well if you pair it along with your other concepts that you're using, as in, for example, only trading long when the market is going down, uh, if you saw that the NASDAQ had made a higher high and the ES had made a, uh, a lower low, and you saw that the NASDAQ was rushing back higher and you're sitting there on the micro ES, uh, you, can, you can take that as a bullish signal, basically. Let's see if I can find some other examples. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find an, uh, more examples uh, on the hourly chart. Guys, these instruments are very correlated, so this is not something that you're going to see, uh, you know, all of the time. We almost had one here. So you can see that the micro ES popped through some liquidity, whereas the NASDAQ kind of, it did, but not in nearly as strong of a way. So you almost had a divergence there. Okay, here we had the micro ES make a lower low, whereas the NASDAQ did not make a lower low. Um, not a super strong divergence there. They basically moved in tandem. However, you could use that as a bullish divergence for the micro ES on the left. So, okay guys, you're basically looking for when the micro ES makes a new high or new low and the NASDAQ does not, or vice versa, and it, and using your other context that might give you a signal for in which direction the market wants to travel and that is what Michael Huddleston refers to as smart money technique smart money tool or as um, uh, instrument divergence so in this ICT basics video we covered the concept of SMT um, you need to look for two assets like the ES and the micro NASDAQ or the micro ES and the micro NASDAQ that are highly correlated and look for the extreme points where one might make a new high, the other one does not. One makes a new low, the other one does not. Okay guys, this video we covered smart money technique or smart money tool or instrument divergence. Bye bye.